No matter how smart, talented, or driven you are, your success as a leader depends on your ability to build and inspire a team. Teamwork is the ability to work together towards a common vision. It is the fuel that allows common people to attain uncommon results. Last December, with the confidence of the voting public and the assistance of the business community, we successfully renewed a one cent sales tax, providing vital funding for law enforcement and the largest capital projects in the parish's history. Two of the most anticipated projects are underway. Currently in the design phase, an interchange at Causeway and Earhart will allow motorists easier and more direct access to Old Metairie, I-10, the Oshner Expansion, Elmwood, and other areas in Jefferson Parish. The Lapalco widening project will significantly improve traffic flow by creating a continuous six-lane highway. The project eliminates unsafe conditions while making the corridor economically viable for years to come. The first major rehab of our sewerage system since the 1980s is underway. Nearly half of the 64 total projects are currently in the design or bid phase. The first project broke ground in August of this year. Utilizing the latest technology to minimize inconveniences to residents, the installation of a new sewer force main from Gruner Lamour lift station to Galleria lift station should be completed by the end of this year. As the anticipated opening of the new Louis Armstrong International Airport draws near, my administration is working hand in hand with several government agencies and the business community to address transportation concerns, including minimizing congestion in our neighborhoods and directing traffic towards Jefferson Parish businesses. Through preservation, restoration, and innovation, we are working with the state and the Archdiocese of New Orleans to transform Hope Haven into a small government complex. The beautiful and historic property will be the future home of West Bank Code Enforcement and an e-branch library offering expanded and more convenient services to the public. Our drainage system and emergency response teams are the most advanced they have ever been in Jefferson Parish. That proved true during Tropical Storm Cindy, Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Nate, and every other significant weather event we faced especially the August 5th rainstorm. As a nationally recognized storm-ready community, Jefferson Parish has the expertise and resources necessary to save lives and preserve property before, during, and after an event. When Pump Station 6 was faced with challenges, the parish worked daily with the leadership of New Orleans to come up with a plan to keep residents and their property safe, while also focusing on emergency repairs for the damaged pump station. We continue to work with the city, Public Service Commissioner Eric Scrametta, and Intergy for redundant power sources to improve this drainage site. Through the vision of the President's Task Force on Education, we have made great strides working with the public school system and our business partners to develop strategic ways to improve education for our parish, recognizing that public education is the key to a strong community. In addition, thanks to a $34 million grant and a coordinated effort with the Chamber, we have worked to increase awareness of the importance that quality early childhood education can provide. Our Head Start program is taking the first steps towards the successful implementation of the parish's first Birth to Five program. In order to have great future leaders, we all have to get involved and prepare them now. Through collaboration and recognizing untapped resources, the Department of Community Development partnered with the Jefferson Council on Aging. Through these efforts, we were able to provide an additional 300 meals to the seniors of Jefferson Parish. Fiscal responsibility has been a duty of my administration since I took office. With the help of our internal auditor, my administration has uncovered hundreds of thousands of dollars in systematic theft and put new internal controls in place, such as a no-cash policy to reduce waste and fraud. In an independent audit review, the parish was said to have no deficiencies in our financial reporting, something previous administrations have failed to accomplish. We are proud to say for the last 30 years, the parish has been awarded the Certificate of Excellence in Financial Reporting, and for the last 24 years received the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award, both of these from the Government Finance Officers Association. Our Parks and Recreation Department continues to be one of the very best in the state if not the region. 
Our JPRD programs have been recognized for winning a national softball title and countless state and regional titles this year. These are just a few of our accomplishments. Rest assured, there will be more to come. If we continue to work as one Jefferson Parish, public and private, the possibilities are endless.